going to be quicker. Notice that. General, what are you doing? Just stood there. My side. God, he's been hit by his own flaming friendly fire again. This is not good. Right, move, 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 move. I want you here now, quickly. I don't care which order you go in. Just do it. Okay, so we have some. Oh my god, what's happening here? We've got a big blob again, here we go. It's all all kicking off now, but we should we should be fine here, I think. It's uh, committing more men. Ready and waiting. I'm reluctant to put any more. Right. Proud Romans all! The ball out! It's can we get the can we get them to the rear? Ugh, what the hell? What these skirmishes are hand to hand fighting with us here? Sons of Mars. Before glory! Orders understood! Kinchy base! Oh, they're running now, they're running. We got them, we got them. It's a bit messy this. You have to bear with me. Belite. Right, Belite, skip this backs. Back, 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 back. Sons of Mars. Sons of Mars, keep fighting. Keep fighting. Our troops peppering them from all angles here. Proud Romans all. Bit of a sort of a flanking situation. Getting some levies in now from that side, some Principe, so Proud troops Romans are looking a bit all. wavering here. There we go, that's good. We've got a few burning uh, people here. This is nice to see. That's right, burn these bitches. Keep on fighting. We've got them now. We've got them now. Use a war cry. We can. Get some more men forward. Can we get behind? Missile infantry at your command. Go, 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 go! No, 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 I'm not finished yet. These Etruscan pigs will die, all of them, until I am ready. Just put my foot off the gas. Phew. You have a tense one for a moment there. Managing an attack on three different fronts is quite uh, quite the job. <coughs> right, so just mop up a few extra men here and there, make sure that they're uh, all uh, paying with their lives. A few will get away, make no mistake about it. But the less that get, or the you know the least amount of people that get away, the better. At least that's just sort of bumbling about. Few more, taking down a few more. That's it. Don't let him go. Don't let him get through you. Hit him. Stab him. Do something with him. Withdraw. withdrawing. We have our Velites are withdrawing. I mean, how embarrassing is that? You've won the fight, you idiots. Right, that'll do. <laughs> that'll do. Okay, decisive victory. 
Bit of a tough one. Uh, right, okay. So we lost a few men, 452. They still have uh, about 500 men left though. That's a little bit worrying. Will they disband? Will they cling on for dear life? We can occupy, we can loot, we can subjugate, we can raise. Subjugate? I don't think so. Occupy. Ready for orders. Okay, so uh, someone told me um, that you cannot get rid of a faction unless all their armies are gone. So I think the Etruscan League have no more lands left. We have taken all their lands, but they have some ships here. They have some ships here. They also have a force doing something down here. So does that mean that they are not wiped out until every last one of their forces has been decimated? Because if that's the case, it's a little bit of a... I don't like it, basically. <laughs> as soon as they've lost their... I don't know, actually. Eh. I mean, what they're going to do really with this? They can't recruit from anywhere because they have no lands. So they literally will be just like a nomadic people. The last few remnants. But if they captured this, for instance, it would give them a false sense of hope. But they're not going to capture this because we do have a garrison. And if we do, I'll try this. This is a bit of a risk, but I'm going to. I'm going I'm to try it. I'm going to attack them with my garrison. My garrison is actually pretty weak. Plebs, Riorii, and Leves to their Italian spears, but they are pretty beat up. So we'll try it. We'll try it. Command. I could just wait an extra turn. How long until this uh, surrenders? Two turns. So what I'll do is I'll wait one more turn, I'll take him into reinforcement range, and then I will sally forth the garrison to uh, basically counter this attack. And that should do us nicely. So uh, let's just first of all pop in to our newly conquered province. Minus 30 to public order due to the fact that we've recently conquered it. It's a very small province made up of only this, Alalia and Caralis, which is owned by the Carthage. So the Carthage now have this. The Carthage also have this. Two lands preventing us from owning three provinces. So maybe, just maybe, the old Senate will get their wish uh, because it seems that Carthage is, is in one of the next logical people to attack for us to be able to unify two extra provinces. So uh, we'll see how that goes in the next um, couple of parts. Maybe I'll put it to a maybe I'll put it to a vote. Should we launch an attack on the Carthage? What do you think? You, of course, will say, "Of course we should. We should crush them under our boot." In which case, I'll just do it. Right. Uh, anyway, we have here a. Oh, this is already a level 2 village. We have uh, a fishing port here. We also have a Temple of Minerva already, which is uh, Roman, so our Latin culture, so we don't have to convert that into anything, which is nice. So it looks like it's already a self-sufficient land. Uh, so what we'll do, we could take our army back across, but I think we'll leave them here for the time being. We should be replenishing, because we are in now friendly territory, so we'll let the army replenish, recuperate and whatnot. And... Um, then we'll take take it from there, but I think we're going to take him back across and start heading him north and start looking at some of these lands here, Genua, Medlan and Patavium. But that will be next session, because right for now we're going to press and turn one more time. Hmm. Should I buy this? I was going to wait for my... Uh, I was going to wait to recruit an army with the uh, good old Scipio here, Cornelius Scipio, just in case they, these Del Marte land their ships and start to wage war. But now that we have him spare, he could come across and deal with that before heading north. You know what, I'm going to chance it. Watch how Rome grows, eh? Oh, it doesn't grow yet, but that's only when, it, when you... And you do another slot. But it's going to increase to a colonia. So we're taking a bit out of the food supply, but extra growth, extra wealth. Spreads factions culture, plus one influence. 10% wealth from all buildings. Extra garrison. It's a no-brainer, I think. So we still will have about 3,000 to spend next to, which should be plenty. 
Uh, so we'll end the turn one last time for this session. As Carthage continue to sail about. Looks like they're expanding Corallis as well. And it looks like we're under siege. So they do decide to attack us. I'm going to auto resolve this one. This should be a fairly straightforward siege defence. Close victory. What? Protective stance. Uh, do you want to die? Do you want to die or have we crashed? Nope, we haven't crashed. Close victory. It's only my garrison force, so I'm not too bothered. We're going to kill the bloody captives. They're going to run away into the woods. They're going to try and attack us. This is really like uh, the clawing out. They've been mortally wounded. Yeah, they're not quite dead and they're just lashing out, trying their best oh, to, to do some lasting damage with their meagre forces. It's just not going to happen. 98%, 96, 98, 98. We'll just go with a balanced stance. Kill again. I mean, there's one benefit of fighting the battle itself, and that would be we could actually really finish them off. Because whilst we're auto resolving, as you can see, they're not being finished off. They're messing about and and, and they still have splinter splinter forces standing. My right. ancestors have spoken well of you, and so we offer a treaty. The Lusitani make the best friends. Uh, are we trading with you already? We're already trading with you, so no, I don't want any non-aggression packs. You can go take a running jump for now. It looks like the uh, Del Marte's army that was sailing towards our lands has now done a backward turn. Truscan League increasing rank. Oh, it's all going off. It's all kicking off here. Um, right. So this is pretty much going to be the last turn. So uh, construction complete. You got some. Uh, ah, he has his principes here. Household expands. Loaded dice. Morale for units. Troubled populace over here. Why are you troubled? Minus three. Wow. That's a minus three public order hit in Corallis here. Or rather the, the province. Um, and that's even with my that's either with my garrison here, my garrisoned force. Um, so if I move this out, this place will be absolutely <laughs> to go to the dogs, won't it? Uh, culture, four percent, only four percent Latin. It's Punic at the moment, predominantly, but we do have a Temple of Minerva, which does spread Latin culture, does it not? It's definitely Latin, isn't it? So there should be no reason why this shouldn't eventually uh, convert to Latin in due course. Now. Uh, I don't want him, to, don't want him to be staying here for too long. As soon as he's fully replenished in the next turn, I want him gone. Now, uh, the army, the general, look at this, 10 zeal. He is really a pretty, pretty good guy, isn't he? He's, he's 18 gravitas, just like that. It's gone up a little bit there. Influence is small. He's 25 years old. Um, some extra traits and skills. Stranger to fear. He welcomes battle as good as wine. Strong enough to withstand a hail of arrows. So yeah, if you thought Lucius Libo or Julius Libo, whatever it was called, was was gearing up to be a hand-to-hand -hand fighter, a general that gets stuck in, this guy just absolutely trumps him. He really is. He is a, the epitome of a, of a warrior. Okay, so we're going to leave them there. And we are going to sail these yes. boats further round the Isle of Britannia. To the oars. There we go. Up around modern day Scotland. Down here, where the other boats are, wherever they may be hiding away from me Ready for orders. keep on sailing it's 
hope we don't uh, anger the, uh, the Carthaginians, but uh, if we do, it's tough, tough, isn't it? Absolutely tough indeed. Because I have no doubt we'll be at war with them before we uh, before we know it. So uh, yeah, so they're, they're going to stay there for now. We have a bit of extra coin to spend. Let's have a look down here. Uh, these are all level two buildings. That's level two. We could actually increase that and build a farm of some kind. Oh, maybe we can't. There seems to be no farming available here. Although we could build a suburbia again. Or we could go for a public forum. Might as well. See what that's like. See what we can get from that. Delicatessen, wine trader. Wine trader would be good. Do we have that to technology researched yet where we can have a oh no two more turns and we can build a wine trader ah wine trade is good so I think we'll go for a wine trader there next why the hell not so that's building nicely here in Roma still waiting patiently for certain things to occur I'm just sort of sticking with level two buildings for now we'll start going towards level three in a few turns time uh, once we have a bit more stability and we have the Etruscan League well and truly crushed. But our objective will still stand. Because the Etruscan League have not been totally eradicated, have they? They're still just meandering about. Still here. Still clinging on to life. Clinging on. Last gas breath. They're, they're choking on their own blood. They're not quite done, but they're still there. They still have a pulse and a heartbeat. We're going to have to end it. Ready for Flaming hell. Can you kill them? Can you kill them now, please? I want them dead. Kill him. No, he's not killed him. They still have 24 men left. Your next command. Make haste, men. No, they don't. <laughs> They're dead. And Scipio advances in rank. Right. He is loyal. SPQR, four letters that define a life. He is Clementia. Morale to the commander's unit, number of battle captives. He is a cunning man. Uh, cunning is a bad strategy. Tactics. He's a tactician. So I think with this general, we'll focus on, on that sort of line. So plus one to cunning, he's more of a strategist. Other chappy, our leader, more of a warrior, a fighter, he wants to get involved and hack and slash and garrot people, he wants to see blood flying. This guy, more of a tactician, more astute as a general, perhaps. We hunger for battle. So, uh, yes, yeah, so what we'll do is we will march him back to somewhere here, march. in the middle of Italia, so that he can move south when needed and also support in the north when needed. And we'll start recruiting him an army. Ready for orders. Under Libo, this we man was repressed. Was not allowed to lead a troop force for fear of him becoming too powerful in the Senate. But now our new leader, Quintus Cornelius Bassus, appreciates the fact that we will need some support if we are to win. How should Julia alone will not be able to conquer the known world? We're going to need some support. So give this man an army and see what he can do. Maybe, just maybe, once he has it, he might take it south and start knocking on the door of some Carthage scum. But for now, we shall disband these cheap levers. We shall uh, recruit three more units of our Veritas. And we shall call a close to today's session. I will be playing another session today, and that session will go up when I'm on holiday. Um, but for now, we'll call it to a close. Two more piddly little units of the Etruscan League to go, and when they are gone, the Etruscan League should be finished. Fingers crossed. And then from that point forward, we can then start planning our next attack. North, south, east or west. The possibilities are almost endless. So join me next time when we shall hopefully start a new mini-campaign and make some more enemies as we continue to expand our empire. Join me for that. See you soon.